Hi, I'm Tom. Welcome back to Kaijutopia. I thought it'd be cool to celebrate 2023 by commemorating several kaiju that made noteworthy appearances last year. This is my top 10 kaiju from 2022 list. Hey, real quick, do what Godzilla says. Leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Number 10, Gargantos. The wide-eyed, tentacled monstrosity from Doctor Strange in Multiverse of Madness. Based on Marvel Comics, Gargantos' live-action debut made for an entertaining action sequence only director Sam Raimi could pull off. The fact we could tell what Gargantos was thinking based on its eye rolls. Seriously, whoever thought a Cthulhu-like creature could emote so much with just its eye is noteworthy in my book. One can't help but wonder if Gargantos' arrival in the MCU is a sign of another one-eyed, tentacled monster on the way. Uh, seriously, Kevin Feige, please give us Shumagorath, please. Number 9. Rancor. Appearing in the Book of Boba Fett, the Rancor easily stole the show for this kaiju-loving fan. I never thought I'd see Boba Fett again, let alone him riding on the back of a Rancor as the latter clashed with a giant droid in Mortal Kombat, but here we are. The Rancor remains one of the coolest savage looking monsters from Star Wars. I hope we see more of him in future installments. Number 8. Vagar George R. R. Martin's House of the Dragon was full of surprises, namely the myriad of city-burning dragons but the most memorable was easily the mightiest among them, Vagar. Over 150 meters long, Vagar is as big as she is deadly. In Westeros, dragons are living weapons of mass destruction, and having Vagar in your arsenal makes you a true force to be reckoned with. But just like the humans, the dragons are smart, cunning, and bloodthirsty. Number 7. Neronga. Shin Ultraman delivered gratuitous amounts of kaiju action. One memorable giant beastie was Neronga. Neronga caused a great deal of mayhem. Had it not been for Ultraman's intervention, there's no telling what would have happened to Japan had Neronga been left to continue with his extracurricular activities. Number 6. The Mind Flayer. Stranger Things is full of terrifying um, things that go bump in the night, or in the Mind Flayer's case, a giant smoke monster that goes bump in the dimension next door. While the Mind Flayer may not be the overarching villain we originally suspected, it is still an insidious force that has the power to plunder the world. I cannot wait for the final season of this incredible show. Number 5. Jean Jacket Jordan Peele's Nope introduced the scariest creature on my list, Jean Jacket. I won't go into spoiler territory on this one. All I'll say is Jean Jacket succeeded in not only being pure nightmare fuel, but at times somehow being hypnotically beautiful. You know, when it's not ordering human Happy Meals to go. Number 4. Gabora. If Shin Ultraman was a delicious cake, Gabora would be the sweet frosting on top. Ultraman's fight with Gabora was one of the key highlights from the 2022 film. Gabora's face reveal evoked the biggest reaction out of me. Number 3. Red Panda Kaiju. Turning Red's third act becoming a classic kaiju flick was an unexpected treat. By the time the giant red panda monster surfaced, the stakes were high. I don't want to give too much away, but the finale struck a chord. It, it sported nail-biting action while simultaneously hitting us in the fields. Number 2. Amet. The world's first boogeyman. Ahmet is Moon Knight's main antagonist. Ahmet is an Egyptian deity that was locked away long ago by her fellow gods because she, well, nearly remade the world in her image. 
Amit passes judgment on evil beings by snacking on their souls. The more souls she consumes, the larger she becomes. The problem is she may or may not be a good judge of character. Not everyone she eats is bad, just like how not everyone on her side is good. Look, the moral of the story is clear. When a kaiju-sized anthropomorphic crocodile face lady comes knocking, I'm gonna be running. Number one, the Red Bluster. My favorite characters are usually defined by their unique personalities, actions, representations, and character arcs. At first glance, the Red Bluster looks like a savage leviathan, and at times, she absolutely is. However, Red, as our human protagonists like to lovingly call her, is a benign creature. Like people, Red is complicated. She's capable of feeling an array of emotions, from blood-curling rage to unconditional love. Red is wise beyond her many years. Like a seasoned veteran, she's skilled in the art of war, but deeply regrets the pain and destruction. The Sea Beast was one of my favorite 2022 films, but its titular kaiju is partially responsible for its repeated viewing. Seriously, my family has watched this like 30 times. <laughs> what can I say? My son loves it. That concludes my list for the top 10 kaiju from 2022. What did you think? Did I miss anybody? 2023 is here, and with a gauntlet of kaiju projects on the way, I'm sure this year will bring monstrous tidings.